recording? <laughs> I was recording that. <laughs> oh, I fucked it up now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when you stopped recording. We're still going, Doc. We're still going? We're still going Are we doc. doing this now? All right, sweet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. How's it going, guys? I'm Fanon with Alton North Guitar. We got peas in the camera. Go figure. Like yo, we changed. yo, yo, yo. We fired Ralph last week because he got too drunk. He got too drunk. When we were trying to do a lesson on when I've been drinking. We take this. We are very professional. Very. And if you get too drunk, you're done. Well, I better than fucking No leave. questions asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Blues Traveler. How many of you people know him? Good. I'm glad to hear that a lot of people have... A lot of you people do know them. them. John Popper was an amazing harmonica player and lead singer. And from what I hear, he loved cocaine. He, but don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, this was one of their uh, one of their most popular songs, next to Runaround. I love this song. Mm -hmm. It's a good song. And uh, it utilizes a couple chord shapes that I think are good for you if you're just getting into... Um, like branching out of like the normal just you know basic you know uh, generic bar chords which aren't bad but you know um, so this song is going to utilize a C shape Oops. something that Jimi Hendrix loved and he just he just went to town on that chord and it, it made a lot of his songs sound like very um, uh, like uh, a lot of harmony with them because it's it's the the way the intervals are set up in a C shaped chord are very pleasing to the ear because it's the major that third does, interval that does please me yeah. so yeah and that pleases a lot. me too yeah actually I gotta go <laughs> <laughs> okay we're gonna need some alone time so I'm gonna need some alone time shape with this chord, chord. <laughs> okay anyways we're vamping too much so here we go this is Hook by Blues Traveler. Do you zoom in? in? Uh, do you want me to? Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> you don't tell me anything. Okay. okay. Best part about this song, guys, is it's the same thing over and over again right here. Okay? Here we go. That's the whole song. Okay, I kid you not. All right, so I love it. Yeah, <laughs> but they they spice it up obviously with the lyrics, the harmonica, the vocal harmonies, all that good stuff. So what are we doing? Here we go. We got an A bar chord in your E shape bar, and then we've got an E bar chord down here in your A shape. Okay. All right, and then yeah, what's up? Question. Yeah. What is an E-shaped bar chord, an A-shaped bar chord, and I know you're going to get to this, a C-shaped bar chord. <laughs> okay, so, in case you're wondering, so here is an E-shaped A bar chord. Did I say that right? Yep. Okay, good. An A bar chord in the E-shape. Okay, what am I talking about? Okay, ready? I want you to pay attention right here. Okay, this is an A chord barred. Ready? 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 Does that chord look familiar? Bro. Anybody? Bro. Anybody? That's an E major. That's an E major. I want you to imagine there's a fret right here on my neck. That's why it's called the E shape. So you slide that shape up to your A and... And you're basically creating a new... Nut. Neck. Yeah, or nut. Yeah. Neck nut. Neck nut. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of that movie okay. with... Uh, <laughs> What's his name? Hugh Jackman, where he's got the nuts on his neck? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the worst movie ever created or whatever the fuck Movie 43. That's movie 43, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, anyway, we're off track. Okay, so, so here's your E shape, A. Alright, so now here is an E chord, an, a barred E chord in the A shape. Why is it called the A shape? Well, watch this. Ready? Look familiar? Awesome. It should. It's an A chord. Okay, I hope a lot of you just had a revelation. And the same thing applies to a C shape, which I'll get to, but that's that. Ready? There's a C. Boom. Got it. Okay, let's get back to it now. So you got your A, then you've got your E, 
okay? And then we've got our C shape A chord, okay? Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your finger down on the, let's see, what is it? Three, five, seven, nine. I've had a couple of beers. Nine, <laughs> ninth fret, okay? On the top four strings. And then you're gonna take these two guys, you're gonna place your ring finger on the uh, 10th fret. <laughs> this is really hard now. 10th <laughs> fret of the B string and then the uh, 11th fret um, of the D string. Okay, just like that. And it should sound like this. Man, that sounds solution. awesome. Let's make a song yeah. just with that. <laughs> there you go. There's your top 10 hint right there. There you go. All right. You're welcome. So anyway, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to go. Okay. Just like that. You're going to slap it down. Okay, then I don't mean to make things more complicated, but I'm not the one who wrote the song. You're gonna take your pinky and you're gonna slap it down on the 12th fret of the high E. So it should sound like, should sound like this. Isn't this like the thing like when you're too drunk, you start slurring your words? I don't know. <laughs> you had two beers, dude. <laughs> All right, so you hear that? Right? Okay, let's do it again. Whoops. Just like that, okay? And then you're going to go to your C sharp major in the E shape, all right? Nice. It's a really cool resolution too. Whoops. Just like that, all right? Okay, so what have we got so far? Because there's a lot going on. We've got your A, then your E, and then your C shape a chord down here. Whoops. God damn it. This is like one of those things I can't play it right there. I have to like play these two beforehand. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Anyways. That's how it should sound. <laughs> damn it. It's really upsetting me that Well, I it's like play. the the timing. Yeah, yeah. It's the timing that The timing out. is a thing. So yeah. So you're going to go from that C shape to the uh, C sharp, all right? And then you're gonna go to a D, and then to an A, and then to a D again, and then to the E. And repeat, nice. okay? So here's how it should sound, slow down. Pretty much, I mean, kind of the whole song. So, is there anything special that they need to worry about with the strumming? With the strumming, um, yes. Put a lot of emphasis in this song on your um, your A, D, G, and and B string. Put a lot of emphasis on there because that's where all of this is happening. And then. And then that thing, okay? Which, when you go to the C sharp, just lift off your pinky and then slap it back down. Just listen to the song, you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, but yeah, other than that, I mean, as far as the strumming goes, strum hard and keep your focus on the middle of the neck so you've got that. So you're bringing out these notes, not this. Okay? So. But yep. that comes in time with strumming. I give give them a give them a little taste with some words. With some words. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter what I say. As long as I sing with inflection. Pretty <laughs> 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 
octave accord. I'm sorry. <laughs> for more videos. I'm sorry that this lesson was so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. It was great. Okay, it was fun. <laughs> All right. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Later.